What's going on, y'all? This is your boy OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another NASCAR Diecast review. And today it's going to be on one of the rising stars in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. It is, you know, the fan favorite, popular driver of this uh, of this uh, series. It is Haley Deegan's 2021 Totter, built for extreme. Yeah, this car definitely is extreme. Well, it's got to be extreme because, you know, uh, it's not on a rant car. It's not on a rant review, guys. The last time I reviewed a Totter car was on a rant. So, but luckily this one actually looks pretty much perfection. And I got this from Mead Motorsports with a 3 for 20 deal. So check them down below in the description. But you can also get this diecast. It's certainly diecast. Use the promo code OBBYT to get that free shipping. As, yeah, guys, I must say, this is actually a really cool diecast. We also do got the uh, Ford built tough truck that also came out so if you guys are a fan of Haley Deegan then we do got some cool die casts that are coming out but uh let's go ahead and let's unbox this bad boy and let's take a closer look at the Haley Deegan 2021 totter truck and alrighty guys, we got this diecast out of its box, and let me tell you what, man, this is a fantastic paint scheme that we got for Haley Deegan. As you know, we do have two other trucks that are gonna be coming out for Haley Deegan. Well, you know, like I just mentioned, introduction, the built for tough car you could get at Circle B Diecast, but the Craftsman truck is also gonna be coming out very soon. But look at that, guys, the newly cut, the newly updated uh Ford F-150. Uh, grill looks pretty cool and then we got the nice little teeth right there so i'm kind of glad they kind of kept that design right there i think it was a ryan uh pistana i think or um how you pronounce his last name i think he's the one that came up with this uh with this uh livery and paint scheme which is really cool guys it's very creative and definitely makes this thing look pretty mean but um yeah we got the good old totter car uh well truck but um it's that ford look like it's overlapping I don't really understand the purpose of why they have to put two logos right here. I mean, clearly, if you cover up that Ford logo, you would know it's a Ford. But, hey, anything for brand recognition, I guess. But um, nice job on the uh, window banner right there. Camping World, do like that. But I love this bright green, man. I, I know a lot of people might get a little, cool, little weirded out. Be like, hey, this is a, the number one is a bright green. But how come the tire logo is like a darker green? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think maybe it's because I think the darker green probably looks better on the white background. If it was all black, then maybe I think they would have done the bright green. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, it does look kind of tacky to me, honestly, you guys. Speaking of tacky, guys, is that Snoko, the Rookie of the Year logo, cut off? Holy Christ, it is. Look at that. I mean, you want to talk about, uh, you know, uh, the numbers being too close to the edge? Look at that Snoko logo, guys. And the Holly, the Holly on the Holly EFI logo is also being cut off. My lord, they completely butchered this. I guess they were trying to, you know, forget that Haley Deegan was a rookie this year. Uh, well, last year. And Haley Deegan's name. Oh, my God. Look at the placement of the Ford logo on the B pillar. Holy Christ. Literally on the edge. Literally, there was not, and just someone really brushed this SOB into freaking production. Then again, I probably should have inspected this car before I picked it up at the Gypsy Tents. Um, so it's kind of my fault, but I got too excited, and also I was tired and hot. Because, you know, going to races is uh, quite entertaining, but it definitely puts a toll on your body. Let's just say that on the back, you got that green old Totter logo, more Ford sponsorships. I like how the Ford is right above the T right there. Um, little tiny-ass Ford logo right above the T. Ain't that cool? But the number one, and look at that, even the rookie stripe and the number one. Yeah, the rookie stripe is kind of over lapped a little more totter i mean can't get enough of totter for performance i don't know i don't know why i read the sponsors but look at that guys look how much better that b post is but look at this Haley deegan's name is kind of sideways but at least it's not cut off i mean could you imagine if it said Haley gan or Haley d oh my lord that would be so odd but um yeah, engine nice i don't know what that is i guess it's to cool your engine <laughs> oh lord nice stupid pun brian but yeah for real guys i do like uh the, this number font those look really cool i mean as you guys know she switched from the 17 to the one but this is our first full-time season and let me tell you what man i mean um it wasn't really a memorable season to begin with guys i mean um she only had like three dnfs and her first dnf actually came all the way until um Oh, Lord, Brian, you already talked about DNFs on a female driver. You sexist fuck. No, just kidding, guys. Just kidding, all right? Just keep me on this. Haley Deegan actually did got one top 10, and I was at Gateway, which is cool. So it definitely shows you that she has potential. My only concern is that I got a feeling that they are going to rush her. They are going to rush her, and I don't think she's ready. She is not ready yet, all right? Uh, I, I, please, I do not want Haley Deegan to be another Deanka. I, I think she does have the talent and the charisma to go out there and win races. I think this is hoping the year, man. I'm hoping she'll probably break out and get some good finishes because she only got one top 10, like I said, at Gateway. And she had a very nasty wreck in this car at Bristol. I mean, it was kind of not her fault. I mean, um, and it's probably the main reason why Austin Hill got eliminated in the playoffs because uh, I don't know what happened. Austin Hill just got loose at the at the second Bristol race, not the crazy 
Bristol Dirt Race that we had. I mean, that was just a, a crazy race, even though Truex won. But I'm talking about the uh, the Bristol Playoff Night Race. Um, Austin Hill, I guess, just got loose coming down to like uh, one of the exits of the turn, and uh, just got loose, and he just uh, cut it, cut into the track and clipped Haley Deegan with a hard hit. I think he, well, he clipped like the side of pit road, I think, and then got into uh, oncoming traffic, and Haley Deegan got literally just butchered in the back with a hard hit it was a pretty nasty hit and it kind of ended her day but it's kind of sad because i don't really want to remember that but this is probably like the only memorable moment we can think of about this truck which sucks because man i mean i i do see the potential in Haley league and i think she will find something i mean uh, i mean i'm not going all all simp on her i mean lordy girl mighty i mean uh, uh that's why i stay away from facebook because you know all the people that are just simping for her is just crazy it's like dude come on she's not even your age like good lord i mean some people man they are just some interesting uh weirdos let's just say that <laughs> every time you know a female driver's in nascar they always gotta go crazy on the simps but um my lord, I, I really just said, you know, simp in a diecast review. Huh, you know, things are getting wacky and tacky when you, you, your boy OBB is just talking about that stuff now. But, you know, you never know what you got to find on OBB review. I guess that's what makes these reviews interesting. So, hope you guys are entertained. And if not, then uh, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> I'm trying everything I could do to keep your guys' attention on me showing this beautiful diecast, which, once again, you can pick up at Circle B Diecast. But, um... Yeah, I mean, let me just say, man, uh, let's go ahead and start the side side comparison now, uh, which probably the it's going to be the weirdest side side comparison I, I will ever do because it's going to be on a car that I did a rant review on. So, heck, I should probably get my ranting voice on, but I don't want to. Look at that thing. That's smiling. But this is the only totter car that I have. So better than i guess nothing i guess i mean i was going to probably do the side of the comparison of the bill Ford tough car but i think that would be a lot more better uh on um, the actual number one uh bill Ford tough car which i did not pick up but i probably will but yeah there's a reason why i did a rate review on this because just look at those tires man i still can't believe they were scratched off but they kept that nice green it kind of looks like a nice bright green monster uh like a monster green if you know what i mean but this is cool man i mean it doesn't look as uh too uh suspect as well as before i mean you can clearly see where the blank spaces are where the monster energy logo was but here they kind of got away with it which looks cool i mean i'm assuming monster energy probably is on top here somewhere but they kind of hit it they kind of hit it it looks cool there's a lot more sponsors on this i mean you could probably think uh, you know dgr crossley for that but looks a lot better than this arca car i will say that a lot better but then again i mean i think the trucks is a better series than arca i mean can we all agree that i mean arca has not really been that good um since the last few years or ever since you know uh nascar kind of took the whole the holdings of it but um yeah i will say man i would go out and get this truck um i think it's definitely gonna be the one that's gonna be selling out uh since you know the other one is kind of mostly a re-release just with a different number but definitely recommend i think that bright green number one i think is really gonna catch a lot of people's eyes and um, i know the scalpers are gonna go crazy too because oh it's Haley deegan let's uh raise this some bitch up but anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, nice short diecast review of Haley Deegan's 2021 Totter uh, built for Extreme's Ford F-150 for DGR Crossing uh, for the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. My God, I uh, love the truck series. Still can't believe I went to my first truck race at Daytona. That was awesome. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review. This has been OBB, the diecast news guy. See you guys next time on another diecast review.